Hallelujah. Amen. So praise the Lord. So you got those two scenarios here. Amen. Hallelujah. The leprous represents the church. Amen. Their light. Amen. Their hair is white. White speaks of the wisdom of God. Amen. Their hands are, are white. Hallelujah. Amen. Speaks of that when they put their hands to do the work of God. Amen. Their feet are white. Hallelujah. They're shining with light. Amen. They walk on the righteousness path of God. Hallelujah. But when you talk about the earthy man. Amen. Hallelujah. They talk about the, the, the black hair. Amen. How speaks of the, 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 how the blood is in the veins. Amen. Their hands. Hallelujah. The red hands. Amen. Speak of they do, they do mischief with their hands. They do evil with their hands. Hallelujah. They build idols with their hands. Hallelujah. Go to Psalms 15 real quick. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm getting somewhere, church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalms 135. You see where I'm going with this. Hallelujah. It says here, verse 14, 135, verse 14. It says, For the Lord will judge his people, and he will repent himself concerning his servants. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of man's hands. That's what they do with their hands, the earthy people. Amen. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their not mouths. They that make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusteth in them. They look just like them idols. Dead. They can't see God. They can't hear God. Hallelujah. They can't feel God. Hallelujah. Amen. They're dead. The only thing is focused upon the earth. Their focus is their situation, their circumstances. They don't go to God. The king doesn't go to God. The king wants to kill the prophet of God. Hallelujah. But God is good. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Go to, amen. Go to Romans 8 verse 7 real quick. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm getting their church. Amen. Hallelujah. It says here, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it's not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. You see, those are earthy people. Those are the, uh, uh, the, the first Adam. Amen. Hallelujah. Their mind is, is against God. All they think is evil mischief. All they think is of themselves. They don't think or have their mind upon God, church. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Okay. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. So if I go this back to 2 Kings verse 7, here we go. And there were four leprous men at the entering in the gate. And they said unto the another, why sit here until we die? Why four? Why four lepers? There's no coincidence in God's word. Why the number four? Well, four represents the creative ability of God. Four represents the creative ability of God. You got the four seasons, right? Amen. Hallelujah. You got the four directions, north, south, east, west. Hallelujah. You got the four winds. Amen. You go to Ezekiel 37. The four winds blow and they breathe they life into those dead bones. And those dead bones rise. Amen. So you got these leprous men. Hallelujah. Amen. When, he, when, the, when the prophet prophesied, they did not hear what the prophet said. They didn't hear the words of the prophet. They just said, why are we sitting here until we die? Amen. Hallelujah. And they moved. They moved by the word of God. They didn't even know it. Hallelujah. Like the four winds. Amen. Blew on them, man. Hallelujah. Amen. So they say here, amen. They said, and there were four lepers, men entering at the gate. They said one to another, why sit here till we die? Creative ability, man. God is just doing something here. These four lepers, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the leprous kingdom. These are the people of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm teaching in a different light. I know it's strange, but hold on just a second. If we say we shall enter into the city, then the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. Amen. And if we sit there, st still there here, we die also. Now, therefore, come and let us fall unto the host of the Syrians. And if they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall but die. Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Amen. They're in a situation. Hallelujah. They can't get themselves out of that leper situation. Hallelujah. I have nothing to lose here. Why do we sit here till we die? Hallelujah. If we go into the city, it's famine. It's bad. We're going to die there. Amen. If we go to the Syrians, hallelujah, we might die, but they might feed us too. But if we sit here, we're still going to die. 
We might as well take a chance and get up and move. Hallelujah. Resurrection power. Hallelujah. Move. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus name. That speaks of you, church. Amen. You move. Amen. Hallelujah. When the word of God goes forth, the people of God move, man. Hallelujah. When the word of God goes forth. Hallelujah. Here's the thing about the leper's kingdom. Amen. You ready for this? Hallelujah. This is interesting, man. Hallelujah. I say, Lord. Well, you should, man. Praise the Lord. These are leprous people. This is talking about the people of God. Think about it for just a second. Here's the Syrians, right? Earthy people. What do they do? They put these four leprous men outside the gate. They want nothing to do, and they stay away from them. Hallelujah. Amen. They're unclean. Stay away from them. Hallelujah. Stay away from them. That's like the religious system of this day when the people are true people of God. Stay away from those people. Stay away from them. Hallelujah. They're, they got too light. They're shining too bright. Stay away from them. Hallelujah. They, damn, they feel, we feel damned and condemned every time we be around them. Stay away from them. And it's not what it is. Hallelujah. We're just speaking the word of truth to save them. Hallelujah. Stay away from them. Hallelujah. They're contagious. Hallelujah. They're crazy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't listen to it. Don't take anything serious what they say. Hallelujah. Church, that speaks of you, the four leprous men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, why do we sit here till we die? Amen. Hallelujah. How are you sitting here today? What are you going through today? Hallelujah. Amen. I tell you what, I'm going through some battles today as well. Hallelujah. But I can't just sit there. There's some circumstances in your life right now where you can't change them. From year to year, it's like I'm going through the same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. Hallelujah. Same thing, same thing. Hallelujah. Amen. What am I going to do? Am I going to sit here? Am I going to sit here in my situation? Hallelujah. Am I going to sit here and dwell upon the past? That's not going to do any good. Hallelujah. Am I going to sit here and dwell upon my certain situation I'm in right now? That's not going to do any good. No, I'm going to die if I do that. I just might as well get up, walk by faith, and go forward in Jesus' name. Go forward by his word. Go forward. Hallelujah. To go get the spoils. Amen. Hallelujah, church. See, we can sit here. We can sit. Hallelujah. When things go wrong, we can sit and worry and cry. Hallelujah. Throw a fit. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, hallelujah. Not move at all. Why me, Lord? Why me? And I get it. I'm not diminishing your battles. I'm not diminishing what you're going through. Because I go through sometimes some things and I question something. Why, Lord? Why do I keep going through this? Why do I keep fighting this? Why, Lord? But no, I can't sit there like that. I got to keep going forward. What do I do to get it get better? What do I need to do to change? What do I need to do, God? I need you, Lord. I can't do this without you, Lord. I cry out unto you, Lord. Lord Jesus, you're my hope. You're my hope. You're my hope. I put it in your hands. I trust you with it, Lord. Honey, I'm just going to go forward in you, God. That's how the Christian walks. That's what those four lepers represent. Amen, church. How do you give the Lord a hand clap a praise? Praise the Lord. And they rose up in twilight. Hallelujah. And they went, man, into the, into the Syrian, hallelujah, the Syrian army's camp. And when they went, hallelujah, the Syrian army was there. And they started hearing horses, man. A chariots, this loud noise, man. Hallelujah. Amen. And they were afraid. And they flee, man. And when they flee, they didn't take nothing with them. They left their food. They left their gold. They left their silver. They left their raiment. Hallelujah. They left raiment all the way to Jordan. Hallelujah. Amen. Because they heard. They said, oh, man. Hallelujah. The king of Israel got the, got the, the king of the Egyptians. Amen. And, and the hallelujah. And this other hallelujah, kingdom. Amen. Against us. Hallelujah. We need to go. We need to flee. Hallelujah. What does it say about the wicked? The wicked flee where no man pursueth. Hallelujah, church. Amen. Here comes this four lepers, man. Hallelujah. Now, hey, man, now where did that noise come from? Well, if you look at the chapters previously, Elisha and his servant, amen, Gehazi, I believe his name is. Amen. Hallelujah. What happened when, when the king was mad? Hallelujah. At Elisha. Amen. He says, we're going to go to Elijah. How did he know these things? Because, hallelujah, the servant of the king said, well, because Elijah knows everything that's in your bedchamber. Here's everything. Hallelujah. I mean, I think he would wake up and say, man, that's God. And if he can hear that, he must live, serve a, an awesome God. But no, he wouldn't want to go into, and get Elisha. And then now Gehazi was scared. Hey, man, says, look at all these warriors. Look at all these chariots. He says, hey, that's nothing, man. Hallelujah. That's nothing. 
That's earthy. Hallelujah. God opened his eyes. Elijah told the God, open the servant's eyes and see what we have. And when he opened his eyes, he saw a huge God's army with flaming, hallelujah, flaming chariots and horses, man. That's the God you serve, church. That's the God we serve. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe with, I believe that's what they heard, those Syrian army. Hallelujah. They, 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 this, this, this the army of God, the host of God, don't have to shoot no arrows at them. All they got to do is show up and boom, the enemy runs. They don't do anything, just show up. We're here. Boom, they're gone, man. Hallelujah. And right behind the here comes the what? The four lepers, the kingdom, the people of God, the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And man, boy, they got, they started picking up the food, man. They saw fried chicken, turkey legs, man. Hallelujah. Amen. Got the gravy cup. Hallelujah. Man, they got the gold, the silver, man. Spoil, man. They got crowns on them. Hallelujah, man. They're looking, man. They're putting it up and they're hiding it too, man. Hallelujah. We're going to hide this, boy. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That speaks of the church. You have all the good news. You have everything of God. Amen. His spirit. Hallelujah. You have God. Hallelujah. You're a new man in Christ Jesus. You have new raiment. You got the raiment of salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. You got the goods of God. Hallelujah. So here they go, man. Woo. Amen. Chicken. Hallelujah. Turkey legs. Hallelujah. You know, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But they're hiding the church. They're hiding it, man. They go, wait a second here. Hallelujah. This is a, hallelujah. We can't hide this. We got to let people know about this good thing that's going on. Hallelujah. Just like you, church. Hallelujah. Amen. You got the good news. We got to let people know about this good news. We got to let people know. Amen. Hallelujah. How good God is. Hallelujah. With your turkey leg. Hallelujah. Amen. And your chicken. Amen. You got the good news of God, the word of God, the breath of life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God did that. They didn't have to lay a finger on them. They didn't lay a finger on the Syrians. Hallelujah. They didn't even one finger, church. God did it all. And that's what God can do for you. That's what God can do for me. And sometimes we don't understand it. I don't understand it. I don't understand this, Lord, but God can fight our battles. All we got to do is go pick up the spoil. Sometimes we, that's where we miss it. Sometimes I miss it, church. It's how it's how really simple it is. But because the battle's so hard, it's so there, man. It's so there. It want to take your mind, like Pastor was teaching. You can't let, you can't magnify it. You can't magnify that problem. You can't magnify that circumstance. It is not bigger than your God. God's in control. God's in control of your marriage. God is in control of your finances. God is in control of your health. God is in control. If you just trust him and put your hand, your health, whatever you're going through in his hands, and let him fight the battles. He's a good God. He's merciful. Look what he did for these people that didn't deserve it. I don't deserve it. And he did it anyway. These idolatrous, wicked people. If he can do that for the wicked, idolatrous people, what could he do for you? What would he do for me? Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm not reading the scriptures, but that's okay. Hallelujah. I'm just teaching it to you. Amen. Hallelujah. And verse 8, and when the lepers came to the utmost part of the camp, they went into the tent and did eat and drink and carried thence silver, gold, and raiment, and went and hid it and came again and entered into another tent and carried thence also and went in and hid it. Amen. Hallelujah. You can't hide it. You can't hide it. You can't hide your light. Hallelujah. You can't hide what God's given you. You can't put your gifts, amen, in the sand. You got to use them for the glory of God. Each one of you have a gift of God, amen, inside of you. You got to use it for his glory. You don't hide it. You don't hide it, amen. You use it for his glory. Amen. Then one said to another, well, we do not will this day is a day of good tidings, and we hold our peace. If we tarry till the morning light, some mischief will come upon us. Now, therefore, come. That we may go and tell the king's household. So they came and called unto the porter of the city. And they told him saying, we come to the camp of the Syrians. Amen. And behold, there was no man there. Neither voice of man. But horses tied, asses tied, and tents as they were. And he called the porters and they told it to the king's house within. And here comes the king. Amen. Oh. Oh, it's, it's you know, no, 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 no. That's not true. Cynical king. Just like his captain, cynical. 
Right, you look, because he got the four lepers, he got the people carrying the truth. Look what they're bringing to the gates, the truth, amen. Hallelujah, they're bringing truth, they're bringing the word of God. The word of God has delivered you, has, has taken the famine away. You got food, tents, man, you got horses, amen, hallelujah. And they said, no, nah, the, the, the king says, no, 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 I don't believe that. Hallelujah. No, what's happening is, is that the Syrians are setting, this up, are setting up a trap. Amen. They're using those four lepers. They're setting up a trap for us. And if we go out there, we're going to fall for the trap. Nah. No, nah, that's not. No, 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 no. We ain't going to do that. Amen. And then one of the servants of the king, we had more sense than the king. They will wait a second, king. Hallelujah. Let's take those five horses that we have left because we all ate them because of the famine. Let's take what we just have left, what we have left. And go out there and see what's going on. What we just have left. And let's go see what's going on. Let's go and scout it out. And the king said, okay, go. Go and follow them all the way to Jordan. Follow the Syrian army all the way to Jordan. So they did. Hey, sure enough, man. Those, those, they saw the camps empty. Amen. And as they were going all the way to Jordan, they saw nothing but raiment laying on the floor, man. And you think about it. Think about that for just a second. This Syrian army... Scared so much and trembled so much that they lift everything like that, right. even the raiments. I mean, I think if I was fleeing, I'd pick up my bags, hit my gold, I mean, food, and then take it with me. They didn't do that, they left it all there. That's how scared they were. I wonder what they heard. I mean, they heard all these chariots and horses, but how I mean, what they went through, man, the, 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 the mind, the battle of the mind that God put on them, man, who to flee like that. That's beyond my comprehension to leave their food and their belongings behind. Think about that for just a second. That's how powerful God is. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So praise the Lord. So they went. Yep, king. They come back, right? The servant came back and said, yeah, king. They're right. They're, they're telling the truth. Amen, right? And so one of his servants answered and said, let some take, I pray thee, five of the horses that remain, verse 13, which are left in the city. And behold, there are as multitude of Israel that are left in it. Behold, I say they are even as all the multitude of the Israelites that are consumed. And let us send and see. They took therefore two chariot horses. And the king sent after the host of the Syrians saying, go and see. And they went after them and, and unto Jordan. And lo, all the way was full of garments and vessels which the Syrians had cast away in their haste. And the messengers returned and told the king. And the people went out and spoiled the tents of the Syrians. See that? Hallelujah, God did this work for a people, amen, that didn't deserve it. Hallelujah, they didn't deserve it one bit. Hallelujah. But a king kind of got upset, just got upset. Just also God wanted to kind of break him a little bit, right? Just got upset and went to go tell, I can't take this no more. You prophet, hallelujah, I can't do this no more. I want to kill you. And give. Hallelujah. And the prophet said, hey, just calm down, man. You know, hey, there's the Lord. It's going to, your famine's going to go. Hallelujah. God got your number. It's going to go. Amen. You wicked king. You. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And after you go that, you better praise the Lord. But I don't know if he did that. Hallelujah. Amen. And so here they go, right? Amen. They're, man, there goes the people, man. People of God. This is religious. Man, all of a sudden they find out and they go. Praise the Lord. They got up. They moved out of their city. They went to go get the spoils. They could have sat there in Syria. They could have said, nah, now I'm too scared to go out and get them. I don't know if this is true or not. You're going to trust those four leprous people? You're going to trust the good news that they're telling you? No, I'm not going out there. I'm not going to repent. I'm not going to go get the spoils. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the earthy people. Amen. But here they go getting the spoils. They're going to go get the goods. Amen. Hallelujah. The good news just came to them. They believed the word. And they went. They went. The king almost didn't believe it. Hallelujah. Amen. He sent a little captain. Hallelujah. To go do that servant. Amen. They had more sense than him. Praise the Lord. Amen, church. Praise the good Lord. A hand clap of praise. Yeah. Remember the cynical captain? Remember the cynical captain? And when the people went out and spoiled the tents of the Syrians, verse 16, so a measure of fine flour was sold for a shekel. And two measures of barley for a shekel according to the word of the Lord. Verse 17, and the king appointed to the Lord on whose hand he leaned. That's the cynical captain. That was the right hand man of the king. Cynical just like his king. Amen. Okay, so what did he tell him? He says, okay, I want you to have charge of the gate. Amen. Remember, he prophesied, you're not going to see it. You're going to see it. No, he says, you're going to see it, but you ain't going to partake of it. What happened? Man, the people of God out of Syria, amen, run right over him, man. And he died. They trampled him, and he died. Hallelujah. That's what happens to the Christian. 
that will just, they'll be cynical, that don't move, the religious Pentecostal, that won't move, that will sit there and not move in the things of God. Get right ran over by the people of God when they go get the spoils. And they don't know what to do with that Christian. They don't know what to do with that believer. Hallelujah. When they get up and they move, they start hating you, man. Why is he running? Why is he hallelujah, jumping and leaping? I want him to be here like in the same situation I am. I want him to be bitter like me. Why are they running and jumping and sing, shouting? I'm mad. Hallelujah. I don't like that. God. I don't like, God, I don't like what's going on, God. Hallelujah. All the shouting and singing. They used to be that way. Now look at them. And they get run right over. Hallelujah, church. I don't want to be the person that gets run right over. I don't want to be left behind when God is moving. I want to be a part of God's move in these last days. I want to be a part of it. God, don't leave me. I want to be a part of what you're going to do upon this earth. Don't leave me out, God. Hallelujah. Amen, church. Amen. Run right over that man. He, man, he flattened him, man. Like a pancake, a, a bit. Praise the Lord. But that's what happened to the cynical man. Oh, really? You think God's going to do that? Open up the windows? That's, 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 a, that's, a, that's a religious Pentecost. No, nah, no. Nah, it hasn't happened to me. Oh, I have no hope. This hasn't happened to me yet. Well, so it ain't going to happen. No, no, I'm just going to come to church because I'm religious. And I'm just going to sit there. And I'm not going to move. And when the people of God move, great for you. Wonderful for you. Hallelujah. I'm just going to sit here. And, 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 and I believe God is going to favor me. I'm not going to move. Hallelujah. And when you start moving, they start getting mad. 